Alright, hello there guys and welcome back to another Python uh, tutorial. Um, in this video we're going to be going over um, making the first part, so the open function. Uh, we're then going to be doing the save function as it's going to probably be required within the open function. Um, so, going over what we made last time. We made a menu um, that printed out like it did. Um, I can show you that. Um, it prints this, uh, a simple bank system, and you can input whatever, and it tells you that it's not a valid entry or whatever, and then it, you can input whatever, so O, and it doesn't work obviously because there's no actual function within the code defined as O. Um, well, defined as open yet. Alright, so, moving on to um, designing said function, well said open function. Um, <coughs> I'm going to define open underscore then we need a global ID number um, file file information Hold on, we're going to need. Hold on. Um, so we need also need current information. So information. Right now we need to define a variable in here, which is file information, and that is a list. Then we need to do an if statement. If uh, current information 0 is not equal to in a then run or we'll, we'll put we'll be putting save in here so we might as well put the save like that because um, that's for if this is not equal to an in a then it'll save before it runs the rest of this, which is creating and overwriting what is stored in current information. Um, well, that's the idea anyway. Right, so I'm going to go file information dot append um, ID number. ID number. So this is going to call, cause the first item in this list here be replaced by what is loaded in this um, this variable here um, and that's just for the fact that we want to have every we want to have a self um, uh, self changing um, ID number now after we've done that we want ID number 2 plus plus equal 1 so that's going to increase it by 1 um, so then the next person that creates an account um, will get a different ID number. Um, we could do it on a random basis and then check, but that doesn't seem as easy as this. Um, plus if you had a big system, you'd have lots of numbers anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, so type C um, at any point to board creation. Um, I think that needs a space there. <laughs> okay, right, uh, and it needs a capital. Right. So, this is just because I don't want you to be stuck in an infinite loop or have to make an account. You should be able to cancel the account before it's created sort of thing. Um, although, I should maybe move this into that file so if you type C it doesn't implicate it maybe all right we'll get there in a minute <laughs> uh, so we're going to go for I and creation uh, hmm. yeah we're going to need to write a creation list uh, but we'll do that later let's go list um, actually no, we might go do that now. Um, and so to do that, we're going to pretty much do this similar to what we did for menu list. So creation 
underscore list uh, equal to square brackets. Uh, so the first item is going to be account owner's full name. And then we're also going to have the starting balance, of course. Um, we need that and that. We also need that. All right. So we obviously don't need the ID number because that's being automatically input. Um, so we don't need that. But we can go now go down to here. Um, that is spelled wrong, so it's not working. Uh, yeah. All right. So now we want to go for I in. Wait, no, we've already done that part. Value um, equals input. Uh, input mm, slash t plus i. Yep. Right. So that's going to yeah, that's going to print um, the uh, the item that you want to write over. Um, it's going to print whatever from here. It's currently on. Okay, until it gets bigger, if you add more of these, of course. Um, all right. So uh, we then need to do an if statement. If uh, value dot upper um, is equal to c, and actually that's going to need to be changed. If string value dot upper because we could get an integer value um, from input because you're asking for a static balance and the user's obviously going to input us. Actually, no, because it's going to be already set to a string. We're going to change it to integers when we need to change it. All right. Um, so that's going to call menu, and we may move ID number into. This, these statements else uh, file underscore information dot append uh, to current uh, current uh, value 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 I'm going to append value to it All right there we go Right, so I think that might do it for this video, and we'll carry on in the next video from this point. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next video.